Welcome back to another edition of Coaching's Corner. I'm Katie Johnson here with Varsity Volleyball Coach Jason Flowers. How are you, sir? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Let's start right off the bat. What is the team working on this early in the season? I think the biggest thing we're working on is um, defense right now. Um, I feel like our, our hitters are, are really good, and our, our defense is really good too, but we're just working on positioning. Um, there's some new people in the lineup, so we're trying to make sure we know where we're supposed to be in, and, and then just the chemistry between the players to know um, where to be on the court when, when they need to be. How is the changes of your roster going? Uh, going very well so far. Um, you know, we graduated some great players, but we also had some really good uh, last year who's um, now had a year of experience and uh, improving every day. So. And I heard that Nicole is having a big milestone coming up. How are you guys preparing for that? Yeah, so um, she's reaching her 1,000th kill um, for her career, and so we're going to definitely do some celebrating for that. Actually, um, this coming Tuesday at our Expo match because. She'll accomplish it this weekend at our, um, it's at an away tournament, unfortunately, but um, we'll be able to celebrate and, and do a short presentation for her and, and just celebrate that moment with her. And just for those people who don't mm -hmm. know what a, a, a kill is, can you mm -hmm. explain that for us? So a kill is basically any time that you um, have a hit where you score a point where the other team has no opportunity to return the ball. Either it hits the ground before they even touch it or it hits just off one player um, before anyone else is able to touch it. And so it's a, it's like a, what we would consider an automatic point or a slam dunk in basketball, those kind of things. Okay. And you're having a big tournament coming up this mm -hmm. weekend, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. How are, you, are, how are you guys preparing for that? Um, we're working on some things that we saw that we needed to on Tuesday. Um, we had a few things that we need to work on. Serve, receive, which is big, which is when the other team's serving to us, how we um, initiate play with the ball. So um, we got to make sure that those passes are to the setter. And when we're not able to do that, then our offense can't run how it needs to. So we're really working on uh, making sure that we're prepared. Our footwork is good, and we're doing the best we can on serve receive. And then also, again, just defensive positioning, just making sure we're in the right place at the right time. Besides McIntosh, who are other who are other teams are you, you're looking at? Uh, Whitewater is always tough. Um, they're in our region as well. Um, you know, really, there's not. It's pretty much up and down the up and down the list on our region as, as a tough region. So, you know, we went one and six last year in region and ended up um, in the top eight in the state. So, uh, I feel like if we can kind of flip that record around against our uh, region teams, um, then that's going to give us a, an even better chance in the state playoffs. And how are you guys planning to beat McIntosh this year? Uh, you coach. Yeah, well, I'm just hoping that the things that we work on, um, the team chemistry, the, um, uh, you know, we've got dynamic hitters this year. I think that we're, you know, not that we didn't last year, but we're also in a position where I feel like um, to a player um, we're a better team this year. So hopefully if we can put all the pieces together, uh, then that'll give us a victory that we're looking for.